Shoo! What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys at home are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, I gotta say a huge shout out to Lords Mobile for sponsoring today's video. They've been a supporter of the channel before and I want to tell you guys about the giveaways they're doing right now up to $5,000 in cash. Click the link down in the description down below right now to win your prizes. Lords Mobile mixes strategy, city building, and tower defense all in one game. You will step into an awesome 3D simulation world to create your own city. And there are tons of things waiting for you like upgrading buildings, leveling up your heroes, and training different troop types. If you only have a couple minutes, Lords Mobile now provides the three minute tower defense game mode with hundreds of card combinations so you can really play anytime, anywhere. They also added a recent update called Artifact System and you can't miss these mystery boxes. The artifacts include dragon scales, goblin wings, and more. The satisfying feeling of getting mystery box is by far my favorite part of the game. For the $5,000 cash giveaway, there's two ways to win, so go ahead and click the link down in the description down below. There's a might ranking system where the top one might player will win $500 in cash. You can also win $200 in cash based on the might ranking. And $350 Lord's Mobile gift packs will be offered to everybody who's downloaded the game. So really, it's a win-win overall. Huge shout out to Lords Mobile for sponsoring today's video. It's brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is making this for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Joe, you got a freaking dozer. Shoo! Look at this banjo, are you excited? Big boy. I just learned how to drive it. I'm still learning. I don't know if you learned how to drive it. I just figured almost it out. Got ran over. I just jumped in this after. Well, folks, we got a new dose. Brand spanking new. It is a new dose. Yeah, I know. I bought more new stuff. I Listen, the used market is trash right now. The, your problem is if, if it uh, you know has stuff wrong with it, it takes forever to get repaired, and we've just got stuff to do. So, boom, we got a 650K XLT. What's XLT stand for? Extra large terrain. So I'm thinking, yeah. Actually, I don't know what it stands for, to be honest with you. But extra space. Uh, Jake has something to show you inside it once you're done giving your tour. Uh -huh. Yeah. There's <laughs> a secret. Oh, what the hell did you put in there? Nothing. Oh, he nothing. likes it. He no, it's really it's cool his feature. favorite feature. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Well, we got a bulldozer, folks. I know. We bought an excavator. I said, you know what we need? We need a dozer. You don't have, if you have an excavator, excavators are great, but they leave a mess. They're tough to smooth things out. The old skid loader doesn't quite cut it. So we got ourselves a dozer. No, it's not that big of a dozer. It's like a, it's like a, okay, it's, they're tw only 20,000 pounds. So I think it's 20, 20, 25, about twice as much as a skid loader. So it's still decent size. You know, Chad has a 750 out at the pond. He's, he recommends 750 or 700. I looked at them, I found them. The problem is a 700 is like a hundred or 750. It's like a hundred grand more than this. And I'm like, I think this is sufficient. I mean, push me away, Banjo. I feel like we can push a lot of stuff with this bad boy. I like it. You like, I think it's a perfect size. I do too. Chaz, it's big boy. I feel like if I can get really good at this, then maybe someday I'll step up if need be. But I think this is like an eight foot blade and the other ones are like 12. I'm like, man, if we're clearing little trails, ATV tr like this road, we want to smooth this up. 12 is going to be over in the grass and over in the grass. So I'm like, you want something a little bit smaller? It still has plenty of horsepower. What are you, are you giving her hell or what? This thing got a horn? Where's yeah, the on the horn? left, the little button on the left. There it is. Hey. He's got the horn. Brad so like we got the uh, we got the the dozer basically. What we're gonna do with it today, I actually have no idea. Uh, but we got delivered to the ranch, and we're like, all right, let's come check it out. And uh, so we got the dozer here, and I guess. We could we could we could push start pushing the old Ford Ranger around. Closer. We could always push that sucker yeah, around too. Or just run we should just run it straight through the cabin. <laughs> just, I'm down. Just run it right into the cabin. I, like I think that I think idea. that might be the deal. But anyways, I guess I'll give you guys the in, inside tour. So you got your step right here. It actually sounds pretty quiet, it's not bad. In here we got heat and AC of course. Oh man. So she's just doing oh, it brother. Oh, <laughs> So, uh, nothing really there. Uh, wait, eco wait, wait, mode, fast mode. Windshield wipers. Windshield wipers. Yo, look at that, that's cute. Oh, wait, 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 how do you get it? Over there. Oh, it's splosion. Yeah, oh, it's wow. just squirts you. Really? Yeah, heated seat. Oh my gosh, heated seat again. And back. That's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much, these are your uh, e brakes. You got a fire extinguisher on tap. They, uh, they make sure, yeah. This is your e brakes, you push them down. 
That's your D cell. There's What's no computers one? in this thing. Like, Actually, oh. there is under here. Oh, really? Yeah, the smart, this has smart that. grade, but I don't need How's it. Yeah. Actually, buddy was telling me, you would, you have to get your property surveyed or whatever your project's on. You have smart grade, you hook it all up, and you go, and if it's like you need to be you know, at this level, it moves the blade for you. It, it drives itself, essentially. That's pretty cool. But you I have like to have that. somebody come out and survey your property, make like a map and plug it in and program it and it's expensive. So oh, it just drives itself basically. Yeah, I even I, my response was oh. why why do you even pay people? And he's like, you just have to be half a competent and you can be a dozer operator. Oh, okay. He's yeah. like, you just go. So for big projects, that's all they use. Yeah, like out in the city, like they're just going and it'll just raise their bucket for them, it'll steer their track. I mean they literally oh, it's, that's neat. Yeah. That's crazy. You literally just push it forward and make sure it don't blow up. I like that. So maybe I, it's capable. So maybe if I have a big enough project one day, I could get it. But to me, it sounds like it's rather expensive to get. I think it's, a, I, I don't know. I'm feeling good about it. It's the first time I've seen it. It, it, it. I didn't even see it. I had to call them. They actually came from Missouri. Shipped it all the way up here. First time seeing it. I like it. The first time I wrote, drove a dozer was a 61, which is like much larger than this. It's equivalent to like, I think a 750 or even maybe an 800. And I sucked at it. But this so far seems like it's more manageable size. Um, so we are going to basically take it out today. Everyone can kind of. Take turns driving eventually. I like time. all the emojis. You like these? Does it have Tell anything you important? What to this guy. He, red. Do not jump. Uh -huh. Use seatbelt. Use the seatbelt. You don't want to get thrown nah, out. You, you ain't need that. So, anyways, I think we're gonna go drive this around. I think we should go push. We could push that pile up too over there. I don't know. I'm trying to think, is there any dirt grading that we could do in this sucker? I feel like I gotta try it out. We go. I don't want to go by Chad because I don't want to mess up his work. <laughs> Imagine I just show up and he's like it. smack it. I feel like there's gotta be. We'll have to find something. You can probably push something around. We gotta, well, Banjo, you be on look for something to push duty. Yeah, I'll find some dirt. No, okay, all right. Yeah. Well, you guys stay tuned. Well, I think I'm gonna like the old dozer. It's just gonna take me a little bit of work to figure her out, but overall, I think we'll be, we'll be, oh, f that goes the opposite way I thought it would. Well, we're gonna start, I'm gonna run over to the brush pile by the Ford Ranger. We'll see, we'll see what happens when I start pushing some stuff around. Maybe even push the old Ford Ranger around a little bit. Just get my feet wet. Then I'm thinking we might run down the trail towards the pond. Because I don't want to mess up anything Chad has done. I think Chad's out here today, so I'd like to go see what Chad's up to. Uh, maybe get his reaction, see what he thinks. And he may be able to teach me how to actually run this thing. Like, you know, the insider tips and tricks. Considering he's a dozer operator. Well, he, he prefers the excavator, which honestly I do too. Uh, his dad always is always on, on dozer duty so we'll see if he has any tips but wow this sucker freaking this sucker red son wow this thing's actually pretty fast i'll be honest it really doesn't tear up the ground any more than a skid load it's not bad at all Yeah, I was trying to go forward and it went backwards, so. How's this? I mean, I moved it. You did a pretty decent job. It's, it's, I will, like, the thing is, because it drives on its own. Really? What? Like, you just put it in forward. And it just goes. Oh. It just goes. Oh, that's weird. So that's the thing is, like, you're, I'm over here focusing on how high the blade is, and I'm turning it, and it's just constantly going. Versus a skid loader, yeah. it's just, you know you what I'm saying? Control. That's weird. It's, it, yeah, you can mess up pretty yeah, quick. Yeah, this is all you. Yeah, over at Van, you're not a dozer No, nah, I'm not just excellent. Vans, Vans, Vans is on excavator duty. It's just like, yeah, you, yeah, it's it's a little tricky. That's crazy. Because you can't like, the only way you can slow down is by hitting the D cell, D -cell. which you can, I did. But then you're hitting your foot, and then you've got this, and then the thumb thing is what makes it go side to side, and then the other thing is what makes it turn. There's, I would say there's maybe not more movements with the excavator, but the excavator, you're in place. You can do imagine, one at a time, Imagine though. putting the excavator in forward, neutral, reverse, and then excavating. That's no. how it feels on this. Yeah, my brain can't Yeah, yeah my brain, it, it, that hurts. I mean, I'm gonna have to put in solid eight, 10 hours on that bad boy and I'll be, 
I'll be back in action. Can we try to do something with this thing, though? Push the ranger in the pile, too. Push it in push the pile? Push it from behind? Just crush it. Hit it from the back? Yeah. Should I just try to, like, try, try to push it in front of the pile and then try to, like, not Look pick it. it up, but just roll it, roll it up? Yeah. All right. Let's get back in. Oh, yeah. Look, banjo, no hands. See? It just drives. touch to make it stop you know what I'm saying I'd say the whole Ranger is not doing doing just fine I can uh, I can shove it from the back see if I can get up on top of that mountain what do you think about that? I think it looks better I think when I get good at this sucker we're in trouble Wow! I think it's power. Blade pink. Red. And I can't return it. I think it'd still start. It's a Ford Ranger. Go ahead and go ahead and fire it up. It'll get that that's gonna be the most learning curve, I think it's that. It's harder than it's harder than what I remember the excavator was when I first got one, like even the mini. Or the skid loader. Just the whole idea of it driving without you touching nothing. It's tough. That's a little weird. Yeah. That. That's what I'm saying. I mean it's like cruise control I all think, the time. I think I can make the D cell an X L. I mean, we got it. She's up on the hill now. Now we got the excavator. She need to take the excavator with the thumb. That's when we'll have to really put this thing in its resting place. So far, I hadn't broken anything yet that I know of. I don't even know how you know if something's broken on this thing. Did they say the undercarriage is what you don't want Undercarriage. To you just drove it which I just drove it up over these sticks, which <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to do. That's the whole point of a blade, because the blade's supposed to push stuff. But either way, let's head down the trail. I'll probably find some stuff to push around. We'll see if Chad's here and see what he thinks. So stay tuned. Chad's getting her done, dude. He's got the dam built up quite a bit. Look how look how high that is. He's got all that built up. So, is that how high it's gonna be all the way around? Oh yeah. Good golly. So. Yeah. Cause that's probably yeah. I mean that might be like eight foot to the top. The difference. So yeah, that's gotta go. It's probably third of the way done. He's he moves some dirt. Some yeah. He uh, he dug this. He's digging out here. So that's gonna be where the uh, well one of the deeper spots is gonna be. I mean that whole look at the whole thing is trenched. Wow. That whole thing. So he's been loading it. Yeah, let's go down there and check really it nice out. Channel right there. That's gonna be where all the biggins are hiding. Water, and he's pumping right? the water out into here, yeah. This is crazy. Look how clean the water's gonna be. Oh, that's yeah. coming from the ground. Yeah, that's crystal, right? Yeah, that's right. That's not rain. That's literally just yeah. water coming up, which is nuts. Look at the doll. I feel like it fits in. Look at that thing. It's so cute. <laughs> it looks like a baby. So that's that's Chad's, which it's just bigger, you know. I don't think. The good news is you see his, where the pad is wasn't perfectly level, so we'll be able to we'll be able to play around in a little sandbox, not not feel too bad. Maybe I'll smooth it out like a baby's bottom and surprise Chad. He comes wow. back, it's done. He's just like what? Five no, it, it's gonna. I was gonna say I'm gonna absolutely ruin the grade Holy for sure. Crap. Wow, this is crazy. Oh, so hole. he's got his excavator, which we got one of these bad boys now too. We're basically just replacing Chad. I'm just kidding. I can't do nothing compared to Chad. I'm just here to be his assistant. Wow. Yeah. So that's that's spring water coming up right there. So I'm saying. Don't look shallow. No. So he's got, I mean, that's probably another, I don't know, eight foot drop there. So that's just spring water. Like basically you're hitting spring water. So we shouldn't have any problems with water flowage. He had a transfer pump there. He's pumping out all the water so he can keep digging. So I think he's pretty much, I mean, he's dug out just about all he could right in this area. 
I'm guessing he can either go that way or yeah, I guess probably have to go that way. I don't really know where else he could he could really go, but he's been taking all that dirt and he's been building that dam up. So uh, I don't know how much I've shown you guys up to this point, but essentially he widened the dam. Now he's building it up. So you can see that's the original height. He's building it up to there. So that whole dam's gonna go across there. This now, it sh looks like a lake now because you can actually see yeah. what it's gonna look like. like. The water's gonna go all the way around yes. the dam all the way to that orange cone. Over yes, there. yeah, the orange cone is the is the water level. So it'll go straight. So now, now you can really like picture the lake. Like we're gonna be underwater right y here. Yeah, right here, we'll be underwater. That's gonna be, that's gonna be real deep hole. Maybe that's where the kitty cats will hang out. So we've got to, uh, we've got to take our excavator at some point and go down in there and start digging some holes and clearing some more trees and digging holes and whatnot. We'll kind of basically let Chad do the important stuff, building the structural dam. We can go out there and dig little holes and put, basically what we need to do is dig some holes and then either chainsaw it or we could use the skiddy and knock down some, maybe not those, but some easier access cedars and, and then and then grapple them and run them down here and then dump them in the hole. Dump I think that would, that would be like a good one to punch. Yeah, if we send, send one, one team of the beefcake construction on collecting tree duty. Another thing you could do, I'm just thinking out loud here, you could, I mean, the roads, it's not awful. Hey, I got a dozer, I mean, what am I saying? Yeah. But what I was saying is if you backed it up, let's say you wanna steal those with the dump trailer, you could load the dump trailer or the big flatbed. So you got like five or 10 seaters and just get them closer so that way you're not running the skid loader back and forth, back, back and forth, back and forth. Push them rock piles into this hole. Actually an excavator might even be easier. Yeah. If, if, I, if I get the thumb on it, mm -hmm. then I can actually pick them up. But yeah, all them rock piles were off the, but yeah, you're right. Like you just kind of push them the whole time. I'm thinking, if we go out and dig out in the woods out there, we could at least just get a bunch of trees here and then take the skid loader, kind of bring them to it and then take, I need a thumb, freaking I need a thumb on my excavator because I could pick it up and just basically pluck and drop the trees because I'm thinking you could make artificial, you know, structure, which we still could, we, and I'm not saying we're not, but I mean, there's, uh, that's that structure. Uh, actually, I'm not going to take those, but down there, those are free structure. So maybe when we, because we're going to knock out all these trees, maybe when we knock those out, we'll just save those and uh, we can pick them up with the excavator and chuck them in the hole. But I'm thinking basically dig a hole like this, like this would be perfect. You dig another one of these over there, you leave, you take all the dirt and you throw it up. So it's kind of like you get a couple berms, you throw a bunch of trees in it, you got fish habitat. So anyways, that's an update on the ranch. So I'd say he's about, yeah, third of the way done. Yeah. So I think that's going to three days. So maybe. Have you even told him about how he's going to grab that second creek yet? No, that's a surprise. We got, uh, we're extending the dam all the way into the desert plot. That's a desert oh, plot over there. The Sorry. Yeah. Cut that out. No, no, no. We're, it's too late, late now. Too late now. So the dam's going to go all the way. We'll show you some, a different time. But the dam's going to go all the way to the desert plot. Like we have literally a hunting blind on the desert plot over there. So the water, you'll be hunting in the desert plot and you'll be able to see the lake. It's going to make this way bigger. And so where that packer is, he's going to do the same thing he did here and take out all that dirt. And that's going to go in that second half. And then we're going to be done. Huh? What? Oh my gosh, there are. You got some quackers out there. Right, right, right. And I did kill two teal out here. Did you? Yeah, two. I think we're going to kill more with more, wa more, more, water, more water. water. Um, and we could potentially keep it open too if we run a bubbler, you know. So the cabin, the cabin's going to be right where that dozer is. So if you guys can imagine the view, you're going to be having a big old cabin up there looking out over the lake it's coming together it's taking some time and some freaking money but it's worth it it's going to be it's going to be a dream property i mean that's part of this whole youtube thing is you know i try to take whatever revenue gets made from the videos and dump it right back in and be able to create really cool stuff uh, for you guys to enjoy so you know the ranch vlogs aren't going anywhere in fact spoiler alert we're not sure we're not sure so don't don't tell anybody but we're potentially thinking about putting our house up on the market sometime sooner than what we planned. We planned on moving and then putting on the market, um, but we're, our house won't be done for about another year. We thought maybe we'll put the house on the market this year to you know, make sure it gets sold and move down to the ranch. And Macy said yes. So if you guys wanna see us live at the ranch, we'd only live here for six months, basically all hunting season, a little bit into January, February, and then we'll probably, our house will probably be done, hopefully. But I don't know, I think living out here would be cool. We'll have to build some pasture for the animals, um, and let them, well, I mean, like literally this right here will be the Barnuminium, the hunting cabin, and we would live here full time with the baby and everything. So we're thinking about, it, we're not sure, but if to let us know, good idea, not good idea. I figured it's during hunting season. I'm going to be here pretty much every day anyways. Why not just live out here and enjoy, enjoy all this. So anyways, I'm going to try pushing some dirt. I'm going to see if I can flatten some of that out. And then the boys are going to jump in. I'm going to show them how to drive this sucker. Stay tuned. Look at that banjo. That's a seashell. Why is that here? That's what I'm saying. Where's the sea? Someone, I think it was Chris told us, someone at the university found shark teeth out here. Oh, I remember uh, that. Yeah. That. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. 
like from back when that's got crazy. the glaciers receded. That's literally a shell. That's crazy. There it is. It's a seashell. Yeah, keep that. That's cool. Lucky shell. Like oh, it. well, no, it isn't. I'm sure there's more of them, but okay, now let's get back to those. <laughs> This is really hard. How, this looks like ass. Yeah, the camera makes it look good. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. If you guys are wondering, it does one of these. You know, like the whoopies we wanted at the dirt bike track? Just get me on the dozer and tell me to make it flat and you'll get hella whoopies. But the pro there's no progress. I'm just, it's just no, there's no like, oh, that was it. That, oh, oh, got it. Oh, no, 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 no. The whole time, it's just, hey, it looks like ass. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and try to smooth this up and we'll go pick up Banjo and see, see how he does. Maybe he's got to go over it a whole bunch. It could be. And I tried it, and it... I don't know. I'm going to have to call Chad. I went over it ten times, and it looks like... Worse Chad needs to teach you. Chad needs to tell me to return it. Probably. Yeah, a 30-day return policy, or what? Might. I'll have to ask him. I, have, I will be honest. I've had the same issue with the skill loader, though. And I've gotten better. Just I don't time. know how. Like I said, behind the wheel. You just gotta just do it. Yep. Speaking knobs. of that, Banjo, you ready to get behind the wheel? Hell, oh, really? Now you got it. You can't do it. You think I'm gonna be able to well, do it? Well, you can at least drive it. Really? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so if it hits the fan, slam on that and put it in neutral. Neutral's middle. So if you're in forward, it's going. It's going, whether you want it to or but not. Where's your speed? How do you do that? That's this thing, and you, if you just don't touch it, you'll be all right. Just push it forward. That's crazy. This will just slow me yeah, down. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Yeah, okay. If it like revs fast because it kind of scares you, but it's as slow as it'll go. Yeah, I mean, you can slow it oh, down. Yeah, it's like, there you go. Sorry, slow. I was like, man, that seems like fast. Now you're doing all right. Maybe Banjo's just bulldozer Banjo. <laughs> He's just a beast at it. Gotcha. Um, yeah, you can kick it in, kick it in reverse. Okay. Back it up there. I ain't getting a reverse camera. No, I know, right? You spent $20,000. It's only 19. What the heck? It's brand, I mean, that's 500, 500 hours, but it hasn't I been see. sold before. So then, if I want a really nice neutral. Yep. That's right. it. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. It's about as easy as it can get. Yeah. It's just when you're trying to drive. Yeah. And then do the bucket and do the blade, or the blade, I should say. Okay, you pros. Okay, we get it. It's a freaking blade. All right. But air rides. Air rides. Yeah, nice. The on. eight. The eight. You, got, you like that? Yeah. I'll probably just come out here and spend an entire day, and my objective will be to make this whole thing perfectly flat. They I don't know if it's... Out on a screw. He has to fix it. Yeah. But that's how you could close that, I think. Is how they make that. Uh, that's what I thought. I was like, there's no way you have to get out and close yeah, the door. Yeah, that does make sense. Yeah, yeah they, they, that was broken. He said yeah. he said he'll fix that. You giving her a rip, Wilja? We'll sure. Yeah. How are you feeling about this? Oh dang! Yeah, that's nice. she's squishy. Like that. She's squishy. That's the best oh, part. We get in here real nice. You, like. you want to go on this side? There's no extinguisher up here. I need. Oh no! I cast in your lap. Sure. Put your levers down. All right, levers down. Like I said, anything goes wrong, you just smash that and put it in neutral. You just push that forward. All right, you hanging on? Yep. Oh, put it back. I don't know why it does this. Oh, you gotta push the old button. Oh, well, you yeah. put her in rabbit. Yeah, You're out of your mind. Wait, hang on. Let me see. Oh, hang on. All right, go ahead. Oh, it has to be rabbit. It has to be rabbit. Okay, that's weird. Wow. Yeah, you got yeah, it. Yeah, you can't see a thing. No. That's uh -huh. why I'm just like, how are you supposed to how know? How are you supposed to do anything? Yeah, I don't know. I, we, we need to install a camera 
up in front of the blade or something yeah, and just wire is, it. You just can't see anything. Cool. No, like if someone was standing there, you're squishing. Oh God, yeah, they yeah. wouldn't even know. So then you smash that. Push that baby down. And then neutral, oh. and then you can reverse it. Oh, we're going in reverse? Back it up, Terry. All right. I guess you just gotta give it the old look behind. I it's just weird how you don't have to touch anything and it just gets it. That's, yeah, you can I sit had, here. Yeah. That's weird. It's super, it's, yeah, I don't, I'm not used to it. Yeah. It's different. It's it definitely, definitely would take some time to get used to yeah, it. I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to just come out here for a couple days off camera and just, just play with it. Get it. Yeah. Go ahead and decompress that, or compress, I should say. And then put it right in the middle. And you pull these bad boys up. She's locked in place. How about that? What do you That's think? Neat. Would you rather run this or the excavator? Oh, excavator! All oh, I know. Long. I hate this thing. I even told myself. I said, I'm not. No matter what I buy, all this equipment. So whatever I do, I'm not finding those. Are, I suck at it. And here I am. Just, I want to drive that. See, I feel like I'd be better at operating that sucker that than looks that. Fun. That thing, I ain't good at that. I don't, it's just one of those things. Like you just, I just have to force myself to do it. I have to. And and just even though I don't want to, I'm gonna have to. But I mean, it's not awful. It just, yeah, skid loader. I think. I could probably make it. Maybe maybe it's like a different weird kind of soil. I don't know. I'll have to ask Chad. I'll say, Chad, why do I suck? You got any answers? We'll see what he has to say. But anyways, we'll grab Jake and see what he thinks. You ready, Junior? Yeah. So far, it's unanimous. We like the excavator better. But <laughs> like maybe fine. maybe you'll be Bulldoze Brian. All right. Is so go, before here? you do that, fix your bucket. So pull that bucket straight up and straighten her out. Yep. And then nope, the lower the lower butt. Yep. Which I wish, maybe you can program it, I wish that did that, because I don't know how often I'm going to do that. The tilt? Yeah. No, okay, so your bucket's good. Okay, so you can put your little red red knobs down. Red okay. knobs down. Sure. Grab it. We'll go backwards first. So go ahead and put it, just push that back. Yeah. That's neutral again. Yep. So, so you can go forward and then to turn, you just pull it side, side to side. Side yeah. turn? Yep. Okay. Oh god, yeah. This is I know, it doesn't make any sense like to me. It's two handles like the skid steer well, and the excavator too, but... But like, yeah, the operations the, are whack. The, the fact that I'm not driving with a handle is weird. Yeah. It's just going. So go ahead and put it in neutral. Hey! Mm -hmm. That's odd. <laughs> okay, alright. You ready? You feel good about it? Yeah. Worst case, slam that, put it neutral. Alright. You got it. You're doing good. So far you're doing better than me. Maybe Jake's bulldozer Brian, I don't know. So far I feel like he's doing better than me. Big push air guy. I think I might just need to hire somebody to tell me up or down and just stand there and watch. Cause better, I gotta put a camera on this sucker. Cause I have no idea how much dirt I'm moving. Oh yeah. I mean, he's doing pretty darn good. It's looking pretty smooth to me. You're not, you don't like it? I mean, kind of. It's kind of fun, but I don't feel like I really want to do this. This anymore. is uh, yeah, I don't know, folks. I, I feel like I'm an excavator and whatever this thing's called, articulate and truck sign me up for that thing. I don't know about dozer duty. I mean, I bought it, so I, I better figure it out. I mean, that's why I bought it. I wanted to force myself. I didn't want to give myself the option to fail. I don't want to fail. Okay, I want to be a success in life. So uh, even if that means just being a bulldozer operator, but you're voting excavator. I'm voting excavator. I think I'd much rather like just take a place that's like really ungroomed, like over there where it's lumpy, and like try to make it flat. Yeah. Like, try to make it pretty because yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be very. No, good. I, t I told Banjo. I said I think what we're gonna have to do is have every piece of equipment I own here mm -hmm. when we're working excavator to clear it out and somewhat rough smooth it. That thing to go over and just get the lumps out and then take the like, skid loader. It looks like that over there. Yeah. Just like knock that out of the way yeah. and then back drag with the skid loader. That's what I'm thinking. Like, smooth like that's this. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know how Chad. I don't know how Chad. Like it makes you appreciate Chad, dude. Oh God, he's he's, a, he's a beast, dude. Like he makes stuff like without even looking at it, just like perfect. Well, he looks at it, but perfectly flat. Like the dude's an absolute animal. Anyways, there's the dozer. If you have any dozer tips or any videos on YouTube that really help. I literally thought I've watched all of them and uh, I just, I know you're just supposed to watch the corners and feel, but I mean like I made this pass like five times and it looks worse than when I started. Yeah, Chad's going to be pissed about this one. Chad, I'm sorry, Chad, if you're watching, I apologize, but hopefully Chad can give me the old, the 411, the old uh, Dozer Express class, cor crash course or something. Um, but now we've got this, so there's no excuse now, Beefcake Construction is fully started now we've got a mini excavator we've got a skid loader we've got a dozer and we have a full size 300 excavator we can do everything i don't have that but i don't want that that those are super super expensive not like that one wasn't but kind of a little bit more niche moving dirt and stuff i think we can move plenty of dirt with the uh excavator and the dozer and all that stuff like that so next thing we're gonna try to do there's little ping flags up there 
we were gonna put our road up there. I don't, I'll have to ask Chad if he still wants to, if we need to like pull all this dirt down. I don't know, I don't know. We, we gotta get a road though, a new road, because the road we came in on is gonna be a lake uh, sometime soon. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, if you have any dozer tips, let me know in the comment section down below. We will catch you on the next one and peace.